all I did was just dig, dig, and dig some more. And um, I did that until the emergency response team showed up. And a horrible accident in Hayes County this morning as a dump truck full of sand overturns onto a car trapping a woman and her grandson. That man was among the first at the accident scene. A young boy survived. His grandmother, unfortunately, did not. The accident that killed 58-year-old Trisha Marie Folkrod happened in a construction zone on FM 1626. Now, before emergency crews arrived, a group of Good Samaritans desperately tried to save her. KVU's Tina Shively has our top story. Veterans Day will never be the same for Herman Fabella. I've never seen an accident like this before, ever. Not like this. While on his way to Austin's Veterans Day parade, he came upon the aftermath of the deadly crash on FM 1626. Before emergency crews arrived, the 20 plus year veteran of the Air Force watched another man pull a child from the back seat of the crushed car. He rushed in to help the driver, Trisha Marie Folkrod, covered in sand from the overturned dump truck. You just never know, you know, when a person just needs oxygen, so I just broke the glass and just started digging and just trying to yell for the person to respond. Moments later, EMS workers arrived, examined Folkrod, and told Fabella to stop digging. I was anxious. I was anxious to um, just free the area of the, of the road base, because I know road base can be heavy. Fabella then went over to talk to the truck driver, who he believed to be in shock. The pair chatted and then prayed together. Fabella feels satisfied that on a day meant for those who've served, like himself. It's a day of remembering a lot of my friends, um, the ones that are still alive and those that have uh, passed on. He was able to do something to serve another, however small. I'm a veteran and <clears throat> instinct just kind of set in. You know, you see a, a catastrophe of any kind of magnitude, immediately you just want to go and help. Uh, that's just been my nature. Uh, to do that. In Hayes County, Tina Shively, KVU News. State troopers are investigating what caused the dump truck driver to lose control. So far, no charges have been filed.